going to try and smoke some jalapenos and some Anaheim chilies, make my own uh, chili powder, chili sauce, whatever I want to do. I was hoping to wait till they're all nice and red and ripe like this. Um, my understanding is it's they're sweeter that way, not quite as hot. Um, with my schedule and the way the climate's changing around here for the seasons, uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, same with the jalapenos. I got uh, couple that are just starting to turn red but they're getting these lines in them um, and again I just don't think I'm gonna have the time uh, to do them later so I'm gonna real quick I'll do a quick video here show you uh, what the steps I'm gonna take and we'll see how this turns out um, again the uh, uh, smoked jalapenos I think it'd be more like a, a chipotle powder from what I read once I grind them up and Anaheim chilies and then I'm gonna basically I'm gonna get started I'm gonna clean these up I'm going to cut the, the uh, stem end back, I'm going to split them lengthwise, put them on my, my jerky racks here and get them in the smoker with some pecan wood. Okay, just going to wash these up. I was saying I wanted the red ones, but I just don't have the time to wait. But that's supposed to be the best way to do it. Let's see what I got here for three racks. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Do them low temperature. Uh, I'm expecting all day plus some. So we'll see in a, in a second when I I'll cut these up. I'm not going to show you everything that I do here, but um, just take, take the end off and then I'm just going to kind of open them up. And it doesn't really matter to me how uh, perfect they are because I'm going to grind them up anyway. I just want this, I think it'll help them smoke better if I can, you know, open them like so. Uh, same thing with the Anaheims. I'm just going to take the stem off to open them up and then I'm going to split them lengthwise. Just open them up. I'm not going to do it all the way. All that stuff when I make my powder will go right in it, seeds and all. So uh, I'll be back in a second here when we're loading up the smoker. Okay, getting them into the smoker here. Use an electric smoker uh, just like when I do any kind of meats or anything. I always uh, get it good and hot first to uh, to get the smoke going. I also do that. I like to get a quick hot smoke uh, and then I'll slow it down, drop the temp, and uh, let them basically roast all day. So I'm gonna turn this way down. Close the smoker. And I'm gonna keep my temp uh, right around, I'm going to say 125, 120, somewhere in there. So pretty light. It's going to take all day plus some. I'm using pecan wood. That's what I've read is good. I'll mix it with some hickory later. And uh, we'll check in on them a little bit and see how things are looking. Nine hours in. It's getting dark. It's getting later. It's, I don't know, it's 8 o'clock at night here. Um, I apologize for the video uh, quality. I don't have a light on me, but they're getting there. They are, uh, they're starting to firm up. I made the mistake of tasting the end of one of these just to see how potent, holy smokes. Jalapenos have some heat still. Um, but eight hours in, I'm, I'm expecting from what I'm seeing here, at least another eight hours. Way in the back here, you can see these are, uh, they're getting a good char to them, the smaller peppers. But the big boys, which is the bulk of these, which are the bulk of these, I should say, not so much. Uh, starting to darken up. The rest of them, not so much. I smoked for about uh, uh, six and a half hours. The can smoke. Now I'm just going to let them dry. So um, more probably tomorrow. So 24 hours later, actually 34 hours and some change. So, uh, let this thing go for all that time till they were good and dry. I would recommend using gloves when you handle these because you get this stuff in your eyes. You won't be happy about it. Here's the uh, jalapenos dried out. Got to be careful. I don't want to lose lots of seeds. I intend to keep those for heat. But as you can see, they dry up. Uh, I don't know how we can see that in the sun, but they they turn black. Now these Anaheim chilies get that reddish color, and these are going to be a little different. Um, flavor <laughs> milder uh, so here's what they look like and I'm gonna take some of these Anaheim's put them in a bowl and then I'm gonna take them in and grind them up 
and then the same with the jalapenos. I'm going to get those in this bigger bowl. So uh, hopefully more when we get inside. Back inside, I use this little chopper here to cut them up. I would recommend you wear a respirator and gloves when you do this. Just this stuff is, uh, it'll tear you up if you're inhaling it. So I just load some in here and we grind them up a little at a time. Let it go for a while. You can see what it turns it into. I'll just do this, do this in batches. I'll do a little at a time. I'll add this to a, a container for storage and then I'll do some more. And that smells great. A little better look here. That's what you're getting. Doesn't make a lot once it's ground up, but it's pretty potent stuff. Anaheim chili powder. So the finished product, that bowl of peppers yielded this little, I don't know, four ounce jar, but it's good potent stuff. Smells great. Now on to our jalapenos, do our chipotle chili. Load them up here. Again, I'll do small batches at a time. Same thing as the other. We'll grind them up until they're thoroughly ground and uh, put them in a jar. So I do it till it's, uh, you kind of hear that's about as smooth as it gets. You don't hear it hitting a lot of chunks. Uh, if you want a finer powder, of course you're going to want to use a spice mill, which I do not have. But that's what you get. There's your Chipotle powder. About uh, 35 hours total. I grew these myself, so it took me all summer watching them get ready. Um, and now I got plenty of spices, hopefully for the winter and beyond. But there you go. Homemade Chipotle chili powder. Doing a few more Anaheim chili peppers here. Uh, I had them, so I'm going to use them up. Um, earlier in the video, I was using my uh, my little mini chopper here, and I still am to knock them uh, from the coarse. Well, to knock them from like that, chop them into a, a coarse powder. And there's the coarse powder you can see. Um, then I picked up this little coffee slash spice grinder for 15 bucks. Works uh, incredibly well, and. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with details, but uh, get over here in some better light. Makes it look a little bit more like uh, normal chili powder. You can, go, you can go as fine as you want based on time. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And so is the kitty. I do that until I feel that it sounds like it's smooth. Then I would transfer it, bear with me here, into the coffee grinder. As it gets finer, it'll start to pack up on the outside. While it's packing up on the outside, I'll start shaking it. And you do this basically until you get it as fine as you want it. You don't want to do that because it's going to be stuck to the sides. Like I said, it'll kind of cake up a little bit. So before you open it, tap it. Ooh, that smells fantastic. And there you go. That's your uh, fresh ground Anaheim chili powder. Smoked Anaheim chili powder. I'm going to get this into some jars. Okay, we are all set. Just wrapped up getting them uh, reground and in jars. Um, I apologize for the video quality again. It's always kind of dark in here. Um, but as you can see, Anaheim chilies 
it smells phenomenal and we got a nice fine grind on it so that's great you can put in your chili you can put it on pizza sauces whatever you want to do with it I also did some sweet peppers here I didn't show that in the rest of the video I use these when I mix up a rub or something to help counteract a little bit of the heat uh, these chipotle this chipotle powder is uh, super hot I was quite surprised how hot but again with the smoke flavoring and everything it's it's phenomenal this should last a good long time uh, an easy project um, total time like I was saying earlier in the video right around 35 hours maybe 36 most of that is smoke time uh, as you can see the prep time grinding it just takes minutes especially with the little chopper and stuff so uh, Good project for you to do if you like uh, peppers or if you have some extras or even if you just want to go to the farmer's market and make some of your own. Uh, it's an inexpensive project. It goes a long way um, and the results are phenomenal. So uh, enjoy making your own. Thanks for watching.